Here's the turtle video that y'all were asking for. It's definitely my longest video, but if you want to learn how to make this adorable turtle, stick around. First step is to take this half circle mold and fill the fifth circle up with white chocolate to make your eyeball. Tap to flatten it out, stick it in your freezer so it can set. Once it sets, take both your eyeballs out. And I took avocado poppy paint and I'm going to use that for the color on my eyes. You can use whichever color you like best, but I just chose green. I cover about three quarters of the eyeball with the green paint and you don't need to make it as dark as I did because we're going to go back over it with black paint and cover most of it anyways. I put them next to each other to make sure that they're basically even and then I take my black poppy paint and that's when I cover majority of the green and I leave just a little bit of it so you can tell what color the eye is. Once again, I line them up just to make sure that they're same on each side. I take my white paint and one of my larger paint brushes and I make the main dot and then I take a toothpick just to make smaller ones under it. And now we're going to start sculpting. So I take my cake and I roll it out into an oval shape. I pinch the back end of it to make it look more like a shell and I try to flatten it out just enough that the top half is still shaped but the bottom flattens out a little bit. I pinch the sides to make it look more like a shell but you really don't have to do this because once we cover everything you can't really tell that we did that anyways. Once you get the body shape we're going to work on the head and I just take a cake ball and I roll it out and flatten it just a little bit and then I pinch the bottom to get a little chin look I guess. I take a larger round sculpting tool and I just poke it right in the front to get the eyes and then right below the eyes there you're going to push up just a little bit of the cake and you're going to start sculpting it into a little point for its nose mouth area and just keep messing with it until you get the exact shape that you want. I line them up to make sure I have them right where I want them and then I start working on my feet and I take four little pieces of cake they're probably about half an ounce each and I roll them out and I just pinch and push at the same time so you get the flat point and kind of the flipper look. Once I get all of those made, I put them on the main body part so that way I can kind of see where I'm going to want them once I start putting them on. This next step I accidentally forgot to record so I'm sorry about that. But what I did is I took my stick and I pushed it through the whole body till it came out about a half an inch on the top. And then I just stuck the head on top of that and now I'm going to start putting the feet on. So I take my feet, figure out where I want them. I use chocolate to glue it on. And I just do that with all the feet to get them where I want them until we're going to reinforce it by covering it with chocolate all over it. I do this next step so that way when I dip it in the chocolate, none of the feet fall off because they are thin and they're not as sturdy as I'd like them to be. So we're just going to take a paintbrush and we're just going to paint a thin line of chocolate all over everything. So when you dip it, they don't fall off. Next, I take my cake pop and tweezers and I just figure out exactly where I'm going to want the eyes because once I dip it, you're going to put them on while the chocolate's still wet. I have to do the dipping off camera because I don't have a lot of room to work in here. But once I dip it, I just stick my eyes on there and I think tweezers is a good thing to use because your fingers are kind of bulky and it makes them fall all over the place when you put the eyes on. I take a sculpting tool and I use my chocolate to just put little, I guess, eyebrows over the top of the eyes just to give it a little more depth. And once it dries, I mix white and brown poppy paint for the top of the shell. I just want it to be a lighter brown and we'll put the dark brown on the top of it afterwards so we can get more of the details. I cover the whole top of the shell and I just mix a little bit of yellow with that brown and white to get this mustard color, which I'm going to put on the bottom. I don't know what the technical term for this part is called. I just know that it's lighter than the top. I would actually probably make it a little lighter next time, but this will work. Then we're going to take just straight brown and we're just going to start painting little half circle squares all along the edges of it. Then you'll do the same thing with the top. I don't know what shape you want to call these, but you're just going to cover the whole top of the shell while still leaving little lines in between them so it looks like it's individual pieces. You'll take the same brown. You could lighten it up a little bit if you want, and then you just put lines on the bottom of the turtle's body. I also outlined the whole shell with the little mustard yellow color just for extra detail. Then you'll take more of the light brown color and you're going to paint the texture on for the skin. I do that to all four legs and on top of the head right between the eyes. This next step is probably unnecessary but I like to add a lot of detail so I just take black paint and I just outline the bottom of the shell and the bottom of the turtle. And for our last step we just have to make the mouth so you just paint a thin line following along that little nose point. And there's your cute little baby turtle in 7,000 easy steps. Thanks so much for watching.